Hey guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you so much for being here. I am literally giddy about tonight's movie. This is my popcorn pick of the month. Okay, I'm watching While You Were Sleeping. Yes, While You Were Sleeping. You might ask, Cassie, you love chick flicks. How could you have missed While You Were Sleeping? Well, I'll tell you how. I, for the last however many years, every time someone said, have you seen While You Were Sleeping? I was like, yes, love that movie. But the whole time in my head, I was thinking of Sleepless in Seattle. In fact, even when I was making the calendar for the next couple weeks, I put on my calendar, Sleepless in Seattle. When I finally, <laughs> someone pointed this out to me because they had the same problem. So when I finally sat down and looked at the movie and the cover and the people in it, I realized I have not seen this one. I think I have seen clips from it here and there on Instagram or something like people watching it, but I must have quickly forgotten Forgotten because I'm just so okay also hold please when I was explaining this on patreon that I got these mixed up I was not alone by the way I was like I can't believe there's a Sandra Bullock movie I hadn't seen and then people proceeded to list all these Sandra Bullock movies that I have not seen nor did I know existed and that makes me really happy so time for a Sandra Bullock poll I think okay so what do I know about this movie I know Sandra Bullock's in it and I know I think well it's a Christmas themed or one of those happens at Christmas movies which is so fun I am wearing my new also new jammies from um, Amazon <laughs> they kind of make me feel like a pioneer but like like a classy lady pioneer. I'm comfy. I'm about to watch a chick flick at Christmas in my jammies, in my bed. I'm gonna try a new chocolate bar. Life is good, guys. Someone said that I shouldn't tell you to like this video at the beginning of the video because you haven't even watched the video. So that's fine. You don't have to like yet. If you find that you like it by the end, click that little like. And if you don't like it, tell me why in the comments. Actually, no. <laughs> Don't do that. Just move along. Thank you for being here and stopping by. Let's watch While You Are Sleeping. This song's in the parent trap, right? The Lindsay Lohan one? I watched that show so much. Two things that I remember about my childhood. I remember being with my dad. He would say, life doesn't always turn out the way you plan. Wish I'd realized at the time he was talking about my life. Favorite memory were the stories about my mom. He said to me, Lucy, your mother gave me a special gift. She gave me the world. <gasps> The first time I saw him, he didn't exactly give me the world. It was a train token. Sandy Cohen? And he was just perfect. My Prince Charming. Sandy Cohen. Find a way to introduce myself, and that's going to be perfect. <laughs> oh, I love her. $45 for a Christmas tree and they don't deliver? Oh, I should have gotten the blue spruce. They're lighter. It's totally a Christmas movie. <laughs> How am I gonna put that on my insurance? Look, I, I'll pay for this. That's okay, Lucy. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> Say hello. Hello, Lucy. <laughs> nice uh, sweater. Thank you. The top button is undone on his jeans. Joe Jr. still single. He don't say. Oh, the usual. What's that? Mustard, coke. I'm recommending you for employee of the month. The usual. Lucy is never tardy, always works holidays. I'm not working Christmas. You get a nice plaque with the mayor stamp on it. I didn't vote. Did I mention extra holiday pay? I hate you. But Lucy, you're the only one. Without family. What happened to her dad? Oh my gosh, that was the saddest little line. Hi. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you too. You're beautiful. Will you marry me? Where are you heading? Nice. Cool. I don't want any trouble. Oh! Somebody help me, Are you okay? Can can you get up? What if a train comes? Keep breathing. Oh God, you smell good. <sighs> oh God. Oh my gosh. Move him. Could you? Oh God. Oh my gosh! Oh, you can't go in there. No, are you family? No. Family only. No, you don't know I was gonna marry him. Oh, she thinks that. Let him hear your voice, huh? 
Is that the woman that saved his life? Yeah, gets even better than that. She's his fiance. Tell me about Padgett. Where the hell is he? What is this? This is my son. How is he? That's the everybody loves Raymond, Dad. He's young Frankenstein. He was pushed from the platform at the train station. She's his fiance. Yeah. Peter's fiance. Peter's engaged. Maybe he was busy. Too busy to tell his own mother. Is she okay? She's got a little heart problem. She's had three attacks. <gasps> she saved his life. You saved his life? You jumped on the track? It used to be family only. She is family. Oh, she's going to roll with it. <laughs> I'm so glad he found you. <laughs> I'm not his fiance. You said you, said you were going to marry him. Jeez, I was talking to myself. I think you saved her life. In fact, I think you saved the whole family. Oh, no. I'll take it's getting down. deeper. She's getting in deeper. Tell us how you met Peter. Ah, she doesn't want to talk about that now, okay? Well, what about that other girl? What's her name? The one he met in the bar? Ashley Bartlett Bacon. Um. <laughs> Did you steal him from Ashley? It was love at first sight. It was for her. We saw each other. He uh, smiled, and and I knew that my life would never be the same. So. so. <laughs> Tomorrow night, 8 o'clock. What? I got ice capades. I know a guy. What is she going to do? Is she going to show back up to the hospital tomorrow? Yes, she is. Or is she going to come clean? I, I thought I should introduce myself. Name's Lucy. Think you should know your family thinks we're engaged. Never been engaged before. This is all very sudden for me. <laughs> I didn't I didn't mean for this to happen. I I don't know what to do. I have a, I have a cat. I have an apartment. Never met anybody that I could laugh with. Do you believe in love at first sight? Or have you ever like seen somebody and, and you knew that if only that person really knew you? Have you ever fallen in love with somebody you haven't even talked to? Oh, marry her. Oh my gosh, this is sad. She is darling and I'm very concerned. Do we think he heard that? Lucy! Oh. So how's Peter? Oh, well, he's got more color. He has some color. Looks like he has some color. <laughs> yeah. We didn't get to uh, celebrate Christmas. It would be nice if you could join us. Oh, I, I, I would love no, to, but say I, yes. I can't. That's right. You haven't met Jack yet. You'll come tonight? I, I, I really shouldn't. Midge will call you and talk you into it. Oh, okay. <laughs> and here's another card for when you change your mind. We buy furniture from dead people. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Callahan. These are your husband's uh, things. Not my husband! Your fiance. Dalton Clark. Colleague of Peter's. He's had a tough year. New one with the accident last month and all. We're playing basketball, all right? I carry a pencil. I'm a lawyer. Okay. Well, then, go along with it. Fine. They'll be so happy they won't care that you lied. To Just mustard. She comes here every day. Is this for breakfast, though? Are they having hot dogs for breakfast? She's going. Picture perfect. Lucy! Hi, Saul. Hi. You made it, huh? Yeah. Come on, keep me company for a while. I don't like to smoke in the house. Okay. Important to have family around this time of year. Are you, uh, I mean, are your parents with you? No, no. My, my mom died when I was really young. A couple years ago, my dad got sick. We moved from Indiana to Chicago so we could go to a research hospital. I had to quit school and I started working for the CTA. And about a year ago, he decided he had had enough research. He passed away. <sighs> Yeah, yeah. Lucy, the Callahans, well, they took me in as part of their family. Oh. I'd never let anyone hurt them. Neither would I. I believe you wouldn't. He does know. You came? Hey, come on in, you two. It's freezing out here. Okay, so they're not married. The, that, that guy, Sal, and the grandma. Okay, okay. Oh, I love big family get-togethers. Oh, Ma, take it again, I blinked. Hey, you're lucky, I'm blind. It's funny, because one of my very, very favorite movies and Sandra Bullock movies are The Proposal. And this kind of same thing happened. Like, they're pretending to get married and the family embraced her. Wow. Oh, Lucy from Santa. Remember Ali? No. Oh, my heart is hurting for her. I never really got him any. Oh. They embraced her so easily. They're such nice people. Leave a message and I'll get back to you. Hi, it's Ashley. I have been doing a lot of thinking. What the hey? I will marry you. What the hey? I'll marry you. Let's try it. It'll be fun. She doesn't sound very committed. Hey, that. Jack! Who's 
Lucy. Lucy's Peter's fiance. No, that's not Peter's fiance. Well, she's great. You're gonna love her. He's the dad from Casper. I now know him from the channel from Independence Day. <sighs> Spaceballs. <sighs> the cover has him on it holding her. It's him. They gave it away. Um, I guess I don't remember meeting you. Well, it's probably because we've never met. <clears throat> I have to go. I'm really, I'm really late. But um, I, it was nice to meet you, Jack. Lucy. Look, I, I know that I. Hey. Um... Welcome to the family. Oh, thank you. <laughs> He's got a cat. Excuse me, you live here? I own this place. Well, then you would know the woman that lives in 201. I'm dating her. Liar. Yep, swanky apartment. Kitty. Where are you? <gasps> uh -huh. I'm so sorry. Nice shot. I love his gravelly voice. Peter doesn't have a cat. Mm. Are you gonna get that? Oh, no, I'm, I'm gonna let the machine get it. What's the update from the doctors? It's for you. How is that possible? Hello. Okay. Bye-bye. Um, that was the hospital. They say it's customary for friends and family that come down and give blood. Let's go together. I think maybe we should take your truck. Oh, no, we ought to take Peter's car. You know where it's parked, don't you? <sighs> oh, yeah. I, I... Hmm. Hmm. He's on to her because of Joe. Which one of the three Stooges was Peter's favorite? Curly. Curly! Ha! He's everybody's favorite. Favorite ice cream. Baskin Robbins. Favorite baseball team. Chicago. Cubs or White Sox. Why are you asking her all these questions? Don't ask me. Ask her boyfriend, Joe Fusco. <laughs> Joe Jr.? Mm. Yeah, well, he also said he invented aluminum foil. He's delusional. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Are you OK? If she wanted to prove it, she'd prove it. What, true love's kiss? Peter has one testicle. No way. A month ago, there was an accident. His friend had a pencil in his back pocket. Oh, no. But somebody's got to look. OK. I'm his mother. <laughs> well, look at the bright side. He's got more room in his jockey shorts. Ma. Oh. Unfold, because I am stressed, because when he wakes up, she is in trouble. You stood me up. How are they? To the ice capades. I had to eat your ticket. Didn't, Damn. Didn't. Who is that? Lucy, it's Saul. What are you, two-time and Joe Jr.? Not two-time, I never one time. Not a word. Oh, no. Oh, I want some coffee He's gonna or, or, right or now. something? No, no, no. Lucy, there's something you should know. Well, the night you visited Peter, I was outside the door. I know the truth. Don't tell them a thing. Remember the day you said you'd, you'd never do anything to hurt the family? Well, since they met you, they figure they have Peter back. If you tell them the truth, uh, you'll take them away again. They need you, Lucy. Oh, that's so nice of him. It's me, Jack Callahan. Hi. So, more questions? I have an engagement present for you. It's from my parents. Oh. What's that? Cat. Cat. Hey, guys, it's time to get to know each other better. He's got to know she's not like the other girls Peter has dated. Oh, that is great. Like that? Yeah. Too bad. I export you the love seat. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. I made this. He's a woodworker? Oh my god, this is perfect. Is she going to business or something? Well, that gets tricky. Business used to be called Callahan and Sons. Peter went off to law school, became Callahan and Son. If I were to leave, it would just be Callahan. Well, sir, I'm sorry, but guests have to be announced, you know? She's Peter Callahan's fiance and they told me about her, sir. She's scary. Tell me about it. This is the other fiance. Why don't you step back for a little bit? I'm gonna try an old trick. Okay. They're laughing together. <laughs> I think the sofa should go right there. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. The idiot just blocked me in. Good night. You just gonna leave me here with the truck? Well, maybe I ought to walk you back for protection. Take him up on it. Me. I don't want to be here by myself. This is Chicago. You look cold. Butterflies. Huh? Look, you need a better coat. This is my dad. Oh, and he's probably freezing. Passed away last year. I don't even remember my mom. Well, what was he like? He's a lot like me. He liked maps. If there were one place in the world where you'd go, where? Florence. 
Oh, but I do have my passport. Well, just in case I need to quickly leave the country, you need to. <laughs> you can't keep your passport in your pocket. You kind of remind me of him a little bit. So he was a classy guy. Just stepped in doggy poopy. Oh. <laughs> now that's classy. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Had a good time. I feel like oh. she needs to play a little bit sadder. Whoa. Whoa. Do not yeah, take me with you. <laughs> okay. Oh. 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 They're looking at each other's lips. Well. Good night. What's he gonna do? Should we call him a cab or something? <laughs> She's kind of dorky, and I love her so much. So is he. You are in trouble, girl. I like Jack. You have to tell me what to do. Tell the truth. If I tell Jack that I lied to his family, he will never speak to me again. Lucy, you're born into a family. You do not join them like you do the Marines. And I was never envious of anything that you had. Until now. He feels it too. He likes it. If you're free for New Year's, we want to see you. Thank you. Good night. Hey, look, you guys, you're under the mistletoe. <gasps> Mm. Mistletoe. It's tradition. It's Christmas. Come on, idiot. Kiss her. They want her to. Bye. 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 One, two. One token, please. <laughs> God, Mary, what are you doing here? Do you guys want to? You want to come through? We can. Yeah, absolutely. Hi. Hi. Hey, who's this? Lucy's going to marry my brother Peter. Well, it hasn't really been announced, so it's a little awkward. The train. See you. Train. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll see you later. Thank you. Girl, are you pregnant? Yes, I'm pregnant, Celeste. Plus, you have to have sex in order to be pregnant. But I thought you were engaged. Well, we're we're waiting. Oh, her web. Is this machine working? Look, I'm back in Chicago. I'm kind of shocked that you haven't called me back. Great. Hey, everybody. Lucy's pregnant. How did you find out? What do you mean she's pregnant? How do you know? That's it. Jack, 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 didn't know anything about them. Ta da! They're beautiful. I can't accept them. It's that other guy, isn't it? I've seen the way you look at him. What? How do I, how do I look at him? I hear you take him. You can lay him on my coffin. Oh, it's a little bit sad. Thank you. Did he hear the whole conversation? You're going to a party. Yeah, my friend Celeste is having a party tonight. Hey, I'll drive you. you okay, but it's it's really not that far. Because she thinks she's pregnant. Peter is going to have a lot to deal with when he wakes up. Lucy! Hi! How are you? Lucy and her fiance are here! Does Jack think she's dating Joe Jr. again, or he's just being weird because he thinks she's pregnant? Why not? Because it's not good for the baby. <laughs> it was just a misunderstanding on top of the Joe Jr. thing. Excuse me? The leaning thing. The leaning thing. How are you leaning yeah. is a lot different than hugging. Hugging, that involves arms and hands. Leaning is whole bodies like this. Leaning involves hunting and accepting. Hey, Lou, is this guy bothering you? No, no. Are you sure? Because it looks like he's leaning. <laughs> Why did you think I was pregnant? Well, Mary said that she had heard something like that. And you believed her? So the only reason your brother would want to marry someone like me is if I was pregnant, right? No. Oh. Hmm. Fact is, you're not really Peter's type. Yeah, Jack, all right, whose type am I? Mine. Thank you. Look, it's a great idea. It's not obvious to the whole world. You know what, Jack? Awesome. What do you want from me, Jack? I want you not to be unhappy. What are you, the happiness guru, Jack? Because I don't remember you having had a conversation with your father. Spending a week with him does not make you an expert. Spending a lifetime with him hasn't made you one either. Would your father be happy knowing you're sitting in a token booth? <gasps> She's trying. No, he wouldn't. You're right. What if she can't afford it, Jack? But you have no idea what it's like to be alone. Good night. Whew, that did not go well. Oh, boy. It's gonna hit the fan. Wow, he's got aggressive eyebrows. He's awake! Oh, <laughs> 
Boy, will he be glad to see you. Yeah, her heart must be beating out of her chest. Saul's going to take care of it. Hey, remember her? Should I? Look closely. He looks a little familiar. You have amnesia. Peter, you're engaged. I think he's had enough excitement for one evening. I am stressed. Jack, you've been really great this week. Uh, when I accused you of lying to everybody, or when I thought you were pregnant and I announced it to all your friends. It's a really busy week this week, haven't you? <laughs> Starting tomorrow, uh, things are probably gonna be kind of different. I just wanted you to know that you've become uh, a really good friend. I'm zoned. <laughs> but she doesn't want it. Okay. How is Saul gonna take care of this exactly? I'm a little weary of that. You remember that rocking chair I made for Grandma? This fancy chair. Two months ago, I sold three just like it. I sold two dining tables. I got orders for six more. That's a good side business. It's not a side business. This is good business. Wait a second. You don't want my business? Uh, no, I don't. But that's OK. How long have you felt this way? Long time. Well, why didn't you say something sooner? He's taking it really well. You're not mad at me. Are you nuts? You are nuts. You want to make rocking chairs. <laughs> you have to remember Lucy. Can I talk to Peter alone? Peter, I've known you since you were born. Lucy. Peter, there's something you have to know about her. You see, she, well, uh, she's not only your fiance, she's your guardian angel. Peter, she saved your life. I want you to look deeply into her eyes. And after two minutes, if you're not madly in love with her, oh, tell her you want to break up. But if in the two minutes you see what the rest of us only took seconds to see, you will propose to her for the second time and marry her before she has... Oh, no. Lucy. Hi. Hi. Can I get you anything? I wish I had my own clothes. Oh, I like your um, blue pinstripe. Oh, that's my favorite, too. Really? Yeah. No, jumping in front of that train was unusual. I don't think I've done anything truly heroic my whole life. I chased a person at you once. Most guys probably wouldn't have chased after me in the first place. I mean, I work at the L, believe me, I know. You give up your seat every day in the train. Well, that's not heroic. That is. It is to the person who sits in it. You know, you do remind me of someone. It's probably you. I feel bad for him and for her. Not for her. I'm going to Peter Callahan's apartment. In your name, please. Ashley Bartlett Bacon. I am Peter's fiance. You're not his fiance. Oh, it's about to blow up. Hey, Lucy's pretty terrific, isn't she? Oh, yeah. I'm making a clean start with Lucy. Well, what was their reaction to the news? I didn't tell him yet. So? Listen, what? You're fired. Sorry. <laughs> the fiance. Ashley. Scumbag. You're engaged? We broke up. I don't remember proposing. I was in a coma. I have amnesia. I'm a changed man, Ashley. Go ahead and marry her, you one bald. <gasps> she went there. Facing death makes a man evaluate his life. You were there when I needed someone the most. My family loves you. I might as well love you. Will you marry me? Wanda, are you all right? Um, love, you need me alone. Yeah, it's called Paris Guy. You going to see Lucy? She is the best looking chick in this building. But you are the best looking chick on the third floor. No. She's not thinking about it, is she? Do you want to come in? Yeah. yeah. She's got to come clean. Now there's going to be a period of everyone being really mad at her, but then they'll forgive her and they'll run to each other. I just wanted to give you this before our presents started to pile up. <sighs> Lawrence. Lawrence. Peter is a very lucky guy. She's not going to go <laughs> through with this. She can't. It's not right. Can you give me any reason why I shouldn't marry your brother? I can't. He was being a really good brother, but a bad pretend boyfriend. Whom are we marrying? Peter Callahan. Are you insane? Yes, Jerry, I'm insane. Every day I go and I sit in a booth, I, I work every holiday, and now a rich and handsome man has asked me to marry him. That makes me a raving total lunatic. When you put it like that. What happened with the other guy? I love him. He didn't want me. He had to say he didn't want you. You're engaged to his brother. On his IV bag. 
dearly beloved. Going. I object. What the hell is going on? I am in love with your son. Not that one. That one. Ooh. It was me. It was all me. Do you remember that day at the hospital? Mm -hmm. I saw Peter get pushed onto the tracks. When I got to the hospital, they wouldn't let me see him, so someone told the doctor that I was his fiance. It's not true. I was never engaged to Peter. We even met until that day on the oh tracks. Oh my gosh. I couldn't tell you the truth, and then I didn't want to tell you the truth because the truth was that I fell in love with you. you fell in love with me? <laughs> all of you. <laughs> I went from being all alone to being a fiance, a daughter, a sister. You allowed me to be a part of your family, and I haven't had that in a really long time. Please, please, please don't freeze her out, Callahan mm -hmm. family. Mm -hmm. I'm very sorry. Peter Callahan is engaged to me. I object to this wedding. And I object. Who's that? Ashley's husband. You proposed to a married woman? I mean, you do her back. Let's go get her, Jack. Hey, Luce. I'm sorry things didn't work out with that guy. You deserve better than that. How are things going with them, Miss Third Floor? <laughs> Come on, Jack. Last day, huh? Yeah. What's she gonna do? Go to school? Go to Italy? My whole body. You see? I need to ask you a question. Get down on your knee. It's, I feel in my head. Goosebumps in my head. I had planned to marry Peter, but I married Jack instead. Life doesn't always turn out the way you plan. Jack gave me the perfect gift, a stamp in my passport. He took me to Florence for our honeymoon. I guess you might say he gave me the world. Peter once asked me when it was that I fell in love with Jack. It was while you were sleeping. Oh my goodness. I'm in love, I'm in love, and I don't care who knows it. Oh my god. Gosh, that was a good one. Oh, it had everything. The happy marriage at the end. You guys know how much I love a movie that ends with the bow and the wedding. It cannot get better for me. We saw the proposal. We saw a, a developed love story. We saw that she was cute and quirky in big sweaters, kind of like how I love Bridget Jones' diary. It was like that mixed with the proposal, mixed with other 90s, amazing rom-coms oh it was so good it's one that i will like will watch again tomorrow i feel like i wasn't even reacting very much i think i was just making a lot of these <laughs> but i didn't talk very much because i just was watching in awe it helps that it's christmas like that needs to be watched at Christmas. It makes it more magical. I loved the big crazy family, the random comments from the grandparents and the grumpy dads. I loved Jack. I didn't think I loved Jack. Like, you know, I'm not immediately like Jack, but I love Jack. I love him. You know what else it reminded me of? Two Weeks Notice, the one with her and Hugh Grant. Yes, that one too. She was kind of like that quirky living alone. Oh my gosh. Why are 90s rom-coms so good? That makes you want to go to Chicago again and go to all those places. You know, like the hospital, <laughs> her dinky apartment. Oh, it was just so fun. Even the side characters were hilarious and added things. You could like feel her pain and her loneliness and how much that family embracing her meant to her. And she was honest in the end and they forgave her and they all proposed to her. That was it, guys. That was everything I wanted in a Christmas rom-com. The only thing I'm mad about, and I said this in the reaction, is they gave it away on the cover. And I, like, obviously you would have found out pretty quickly that she was going to have a crush on the brother. But the second you see him, and, like, at first you're, like, worried that he's gonna out her, but then you're like, but they're gonna fall in love because on the cover he's holding her up. Okay. Thank you again so much for watching along with me. Have a wonderful evening, a wonderful Christmas week, and I'll see you soon.